Yeah, I really just wanted to show you that it's snowing. Hey guys, my name is Austin and welcome to today's video. I want to talk about my house and I've made a video all about my house and when I got it and stuff. But today I want to talk about how to make your house smart. Now me being a pretty big nerd, I love technology and I love to make stuff smart and work for me. And so that's what I want to kind of go over is all the stuff in my house that work for me that I use every single day to make my life a little better using technology. So let's go take a look around. <laughs> all my tech that I have in my house, all of it's Google based. But some of it's actually Google company bought called Nest. And what it does is they all work together to make my Google home. And what I can do from there is I can control the TV, turn the temperature up and down, look at my cameras on the outside of my house, and look at all this stuff using my voice. I don't even have to pull out my phone, but I can if I want to. So I sort of want to go over what each part does. So the first one I want to do is the Google Home Nest, um, I think that's what they call it. But what it is, is just a smart thermostat. It allows you to set the temperature, you hook it in just like you would a normal thermostat, but it's really simple and really easy to set up. And yeah, that's probably been my favorite thing to install in this house is a smart thermostat because it allows me to control my temperature when I'm gone, but it also starts to learn what you do every day so it can set your thermostat for you. So when I leave for work, it actually puts it in an eco mode, which saves me money. And I've seen that directly affect my electric bill here, which is awesome. Anything that helps me save money, I want to have. And this next thing is probably my favorite. It's a Google Home Hub and what it does, it allows you to put pictures on here, but it also just acts as a Google speaker. So what I can say is Google, Play Post Malone. Okay, playing Post Malone on Spotify. And it just starts playing like normal. And what you can do is you can actually control it with touch, swipe through. It gives you a bunch of different cards to work with. You can actually play YouTube videos, YouTube TV. You can check on your cameras, which I'll do right now. Where you at? And it allows you to check out your house, see what's going on, and that's about it. But it's also really nice if you're just trying to cook or do something in the kitchen that you need an assistant to help you with. I ask it to do a timer all the time. You can look up recipes. It's just, it's really cool when you have that visual screen in front of you because it gives you so many visual and audio cues to make something nice. I mean, I made pizza tonight, so it helped me do that. All right, to the entertainment area. And this is where I consume all my content. I love watching YouTube videos, Netflix shows, movies, all sorts of stuff on the big screen. And I do it most of the time not using a remote or my phone. I do it using Google and voice controls. All I have to say is, Google, play Otto Baker on YouTube. Okay, here are some options showing on Family Room TV. And so having voice control in your entertainment area is actually awesome. How many times have you getting up and need to pause a movie but you gotta find the remote. I literally just say, Google, pause. And it pauses the movie for me, or I can rewind a couple minutes, or fast forward a couple seconds. You can do all of that using just your voice. You don't even have to pull out your phone or your remote, which is wild to me. That's probably my favorite thing I've gotten, is having my smart home connected to my TV. And this actually was the first thing I put in my smart home was the ability to do voice controls in my entertainment space, because I find that so useful, and I use it all the time. And the next thing people always seem to forget about when they're upgrading their house or trying to make it more techy is a good Wi-Fi system. This is called Amplify, the best Wi-Fi in the world. I will stand by it forever. It's awesome. But it allows you to have all these different devices on it. You can have multiple Xboxes or multiple streaming services or whatever, and it just handles it. And it's basically the backbone of my entire house, so go get it, Mom. And the next piece of technology is something I use every single day. And I use it right here in my bedroom. It's actually right over here. It's called a Google Home Mini. And it's basically your personal assistant that you can use right before you go to bed. It can set alarms, listen to music, or even tell you the weather. It's just a great thing to have on your bedside table. And so that's why I actually installed them into a bunch of rooms around my house. I love having hands free. And so I actually installed them right here in my bathroom. I use it every single day to play music, listen to the radio, ask the weather, all sorts of things that you can't normally do when you're brushing your teeth, shaving, or taking a shower. That's probably my favorite thing about having a smart home. It allows you to do stuff you normally wouldn't be able to do with your voice. And so this is just a basic understanding of what a smart home is. The smart home is a lot more than just the little tech pieces I have around my house. A smart home really represents saving time and using technology 
to save that time. It allows you to change your song, check the temperature, or just look at your video camera in the backyard. Simple things like this only take seconds, but every day they add up, and over a couple months you might save hours using a smart home. And that's what makes me so excited about them is the idea that it saves you time that you can do stuff you actually want to do, like spending time with family or friends, or just doing something fun. So as technology gets better and smart homes get better, we're gonna be able to save even more time because technology will be moving so fast, our daily tasks will really be nothing. And so I'm really excited about that. I'm excited for the future and I'm excited to see how good smart homes get. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.